Neil, you may have thought I started with a, an understated question on Saturday, but I think I might top myself tonight. He looks slightly happier. I wonder why that is. Don't top yourself tonight. <laughs> I don't think that's necessary at all. <laughs> Maybe on uh, Saturday I felt like that, but uh, certainly not tonight. Um, you know, it was a perfect response from, from Saturday. And uh, it's all credit to the players because they've had to deal with the disappointment. Long journey back, and like I say, back to work for our players on Monday, Tuesday. But then they've come in tonight and um, they've put in a fantastic performance. You also said on Saturday that it might take a while to get over that result at Forest Green, but to do it within a couple of nights, it's quite remarkable. Yeah, I mean, when you come off the the pitch on the Saturday, you really think that, is this going to affect us? I mean, you have to, because it's to get so close against a big team in a well-fancied team, it does not the stuff out of you, but you've got to get on with it, because if you... If you let results when they go against you and you dwell on them, you find that they end in a run of bad results and suddenly you, you, you start to struggle. So it was a perfect response and, um, I'm, as I say, delighted with the performance tonight. Perfect response. First half, three goals in an opening 32 minute spell. It, it just speaks volumes. Yes, they, I thought they started well from the kickoff, were positive, passed the ball well tonight, had a threat going forward. And we defended well. They didn't have, you know, clear-cut chances, especially in the first half. They never really got near the goal. So it was a really good performance. And um, you know, I'm, I'm pr I was proud of the players on Saturday. I thought they worked exceptionally hard. They were a credit to the club. Just got that bit of luck that deserted them at the end. But certainly tonight, they've they've got everything that they deserve. You mentioned that start got off to a great start, and Marcus Carver with his first goal for the club. That will do his confidence a world to go. Yeah, like I've said, it's. I think it's very, very difficult for any player who's playing up front on his own and you're playing against his first two games have been Barnet and Forest Green where we've not had a lot of possession so you don't get a lot of balls where you're sort of attacking, you've got to hold the ball up, you're doing a lot of closing down, a lot of working which is very unselfish but he's been willing to do that and uh, he's got his reward tonight with a goal. Dan Gardner got two in a couple of minutes. Is it fair to say he's slowly coming into his own as the season progresses? Yes, Dan's, you can see he's leaner, so he's getting fitter. And when he's fitter and when he's on song, we know he's got ability. Um, all the lads at the club know how talented he is. We all respect his talent. But like I've said, he's got to apply himself. He's got to work hard because the, the work rate of the team is what's getting us through the games. And if he, if he complements his undoubted talent with his work rate, then we've got a, a player who can be a, a big player for us in, in this league. There was some great interplay between him and Scott McManus, especially in the second half, which resulted in a chance where Gardner hit the post. That would have been a, a great goal in particular. Yeah, well, I mean, Macca, Paul Marshall and Dan, they don't want to pass to anybody else. They just want to keep between the three of them because they're all friends and they all think they're the best players on the team. So they like to, like to try and pass between them. But uh, to be fair, they all did well tonight. Just a word on Paul Marshall. It must have been difficult to him, especially after Louis Maynard and Matty Pearson done so, so well in those positions, but he was very solid tonight when he came in. Well, no, I must say I thought he was excellent tonight. He did exactly what I wanted, but he passed the ball well, but he worked hard. He worked exceptionally hard, and he knows that if he's going to play, he has to work like he did tonight. Just a word on Adam Smith as well. We know he's got pace, skill. There was an end product tonight as well. Great finish. I thought he was excellent all the game. He was a real handful just disappointing he's now booked and again no suspension for us uh, I mean it's a remarkable really I mean he never tackles uh, you know for him to have five bookings in nine games it must be something of a record but uh, he, he has to be more disciplined I, I, I do feel for him tonight because I think you score your first goal it's at the end where you support us all I think it's harsh when you get booked for that it's a bit of over exuberance you could say but it was that type of night it was that type of night and I suppose um, at least he gets a he, he's got his suspension now. He he, has, he gets the one game, gets it over with, and then he can start again. Yeah, you mentioned the suspension. We've got people coming back from suspension, back from injuries as well. It's fair to say you've got um, some good options to to choose from coming this Saturday. Yeah, I've got some good options. I've got um, as a manager, you always want to have players to pick from. It obviously uh, gives me a headache, but that's a headache. So I want I want to be I want to be 
struggling with my selection and uh, I want to have players who are putting the other players under pressure and now with a you know we've got three bodies to, to come into the equation for Saturday. Obviously Grimsby, big club in this league. Did we make them look fairly average tonight? Well I, I think you know I, I'd like to think it's very hard when you're a non for a part time team to get any credit in this league. But I'd like to think that Grimsby give us credit because we played really well tonight and we deserved the win and I don't think you can say anything else. We were better than them on the night and we deserved to win. You mentioned the part-time teams. The part-time teams are doing so well in the league so far. It is that type of league. It, it is so unpredictable at the moment. Well, it is. Uh, we didn't know what to expect, but um, you know we've had some good performances. We've been unlucky on certain occasions, but we've just got to keep... We don't get carried away with one result tonight. And I know the manager at Hereford, um, Martin Foyle, I know their team will be strong and big and powerful for Saturday. And we've just got to you know, start again. You mentioned Hereford on Saturday, a team that the fans will know so, so well after the playoff final in 2006. Obviously, it's, it's two different teams. Will there be still some memories from the fans, do you think, heading into that game? Well, if there is, they've got long memories. <laughs> <laughs> I think football moves on. I don't think it's, uh, you know, there's been a lot of thing, a lot of changes since then. And uh, I just think the players are putting on performances where the fans... You know, should come in and, and see them because what they're doing is they're representing the club and the people of Halifax really well by the work rate and the effort and commitment. And I've always said, if if players do that, then um, the supporters will get behind them. Yeah, they certainly will. Congratulations tonight, Neil. Thank you for telling me, player. Cheers.